My name is Jessica Degau and I'm playing Mina Murray in Dracula. The world of Dracula, well, um, it obviously is removed a little from the original text. It's set in, um, in London in sort of, and there's this sort of technical revolution and Grayson is an American coming to London, bringing all this new technology. So, I mean, it's, it's the original characters, but it certainly strays a little from the story. Because it's a series, you know, I, th I feel like the story can only go for so long. You need to make it interesting and you need to bring new things as well, because Dracula has been done. We wanted to bring something exciting and, and, and new and relevant as well. This version of Dracula is um, a young, sort of go-getting medical student. And she is the only female in her in her group, in her class, like there's no other, at the time, I mean, there were, there were no female students, you know, studying medicine like she is. Um, but she's taking after her father. Her father's the, the head honcho at the Bethlehem Royal Hospital. And she, so she very much wants to follow in his footsteps. Um, but in doing so, she has to be very progressive and she has to be really, she has to fight for what she wants. And I think that comes through a lot in sort of all, all aspects of her life. I think she's a bit of a fighter. Whereas, you know, in different sort of um, versions of Mina, Mina isn't necessarily that. Like, I think often she's the damsel and she's, you know, she's, the, she's, a, she's a victim. But in this one, I think she's very empowered. And I think that women will really relate to Mina in this production. I think there's something great for women in it. With all the female characters as well. Like, you look at all the female characters and they're so strong. They're constantly evolving as well, like with the new scripts, there's, there's this, the women seem to be very much removed from the constraints of the period. Like, I feel like Mina is, and, and their relationships as well, like I feel like Mina and Harker are very much, uh, have very much a, a modern relationship. You know, they're quite, they're, they're affectionate like publicly, whereas I feel like the period would probably have been very inappropriate. Um, but the women don't seem to be bound so much by that, which I think is really interesting. Because, I mean, when you're watching a period drama, there's often the challenge of how do you make that relatable and how do you make that accessible to an audience now? And I think the fact that the women are so progressive makes it very accessible. I would want to watch, I want to watch someone who's like me that I can, that I can relate to on screen. Mina meets Grayson at his grand ball, his introduction to London society. Um, along with the rest of the cast as well. It's a, this beautiful big scene, big grand ballroom scene. Um, and when Mina sees Grayson for the first time, she is sort of overcome by this sense of, of knowing, of deja vu, like she recognises him instantly, but cannot place why. Um, and I think Gray, you know, Grayson has a very different experience of, of Mina. He, he knows her as Ilona, as his, his wife who was killed murdered in front of his eyes centuries ago. Um, and so his response to her is, is well, he's just completely caught off guard and completely knocked off his feet by it because his love for Mina was so intense. But Mina, Mina's is more of like a, a ripple of recognition. It's not, it's not this, this clarity that, that Grayson has.